Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I want to thank Senator Thomas for putting forth this important resolution as we commemorate uh, International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And I'm, I'm truly honored and humbled to have with us in the chamber um, not only the director of the Holocaust Museum and Center for uh, Education and Tolerance uh, in Rockland County, uh, Andrea uh, Wingard, who's with us here today, but also we have a true American hero and someone that I've gotten to know over the years, and that's Al, uh, Alan, Alan Moskin. And Alan Moskin's a World War II veteran, and not only that, but he was one of the liberators in May of 1945 when he came at the age of 18 years old and helped liberate the camp of uh, Gauschkin. Uh, and it, his, uh, his work is just to be commemorated. And it doesn't end there. Since that time, Alan has spent his, his time dedicated to educating people about his experience, about that time and the atrocities that he saw personally. He has now spoken to over 100,000 middle school students across the country. So I am just so humbled and uh, honored to be able to call him my friend. Uh, he is always there at every event in the community. And one of those people that you see and you know, hey, you never know how your example is going to impact someone. And we know that not only has he liberated and saved thousands of people personally, but he's touched thousands of lives over the years. And that's why it's so important that we commemorate this day here in the Senate chamber and in a time where we see a rise in anti-Semitic attacks, we see a rise in hatred across this state and across this nation. Now more than ever, we have to remember and say, never again means never again. And in fact, where we have the Holocaust Museum and Tolerance Center in Rockland County, it's less than a mile down the street from where the Hanukkah attack took a place in Muncie. And it's fitting that we, we commemorate and we, we recognize this day. And we're excited to see the governor put forward uh, legislation in the executive budget to say children should visit the Holocaust Museum. That we can't just talk about this. We have to take action. We have to do it now and make sure that we never forget and our children never forget as well. So with that, I want to thank uh, my guests here today, and particularly one of my heroes, Alan Moskin, for the, what, the sacrifices that you've made to our country, our community, and our state. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.